Okay. Let's get started on Silly Dragon Game. We'll be here for a while, so better start soon, I guess. Derek, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Classic start. Perfect. <laughs> 25 gems on Bluto. I didn't actually know that. I don't know gem counts, like, anywhere in this game. I just, uh... I just try to learn where they are. I've been practicing for Sparks lists, so... Uh... Yeah, I've, I've, uh... I think I've been kind of learning where they are by default. Nope, that's fine. <laughs> no. Hey, Eliza. The Bluto gems I actually have a pretty good read on, I think. In terms of where they are and what I need to get. So I think that room in particular I'll be fine on. There's a lot of stuff, especially the late game. I've mostly just been practicing sunrise and midday. So I'm still not amazing at evening lake or midnight mountain levels, but... What I have been practicing, I've been feeling pretty good on. Anyway, how have you been, Derek? And how are you doing tonight, Eliza? Oh, that was too early. Busy to watch or stream much at the moment? Yeah, that's fair. I don't like how that guy, it seems like no matter how you hit him, he bounces into the other guy. It makes Sparks list right there really hard. You have to just like wait for the guy to disappear. that one. That's not high enough. That's not right. <clears throat> and that should be all of them. Derek's level four, let's go. So proud of you, Derek. I don't trust that. <laughs> Okay, so I can drop down here, get this, and then just head over this way, I guess? Did I 
take that extra life, just because I'll probably need it eventually, let's be honest. Should be all of them there. And now I need... these, but I also need these I didn't get. I do need to actually work on the sunny route a bit. Not great at a lot of this. I'm a lot better than I used to be, but there's a lot that I still just don't really have planned out. Yeah, that'd be fun, Derek. Hope you have a good night. Also, welcome, welcome, holographic squid. <laughs> It's a very good username. That, there's nothing else there. <laughs> oh no, Muzz, what happened? <laughs> the classic. What was it, and how did it go? I assume by the fact that you didn't record it, and you're mentioning that, it went well. Oh, it's not... it's not what to do. I need to just kind of turn around here. There we go. That, that works. This isn't the right way at all. <laughs> I know that. I, I should be doing better than this. I mean, I guess it's not a huge deal, but this just could have been a lot better. Yo, Toop. I... Mm, ah. <laughs> Okay, you know what, that's fine. That's fine. I can just get these without sparks. Go grab a board over here. Pick it up. Yo, John. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to add zero mission to the list. I meant to do that before starting stream and then just forgot again. Also, yo, Toop. I forget if I said yo already to you. What's a good Zando question? Uh, this... this doesn't work. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> this also just isn't right. I was supposed to turn around there, like, completely. Uh, have I learned nothing? Okay, hold on. This is all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> None of what I'm doing is correct right now. I'm just gonna go out of my way a little bit to uh, get myself back on course, I guess. How difficult is the process of setting up Sparksless on console? It depends on how you do it. I think, basically, no matter what, it's not very hard. Uh, it's just that I only know how to do it one way. That's not right. That's... I wasn't supposed to do a flip there. Okay, okay, you know what? Sure, sure. That I expected to work. I'm, I'm surprised that didn't hit. There we go. Okay, and I have all the gems around here so I can continue on to the end. Okay. Uh-oh, that's not all the gems. Um, If I missed a gem around here, it's gonna be over here. And it's not. 
Huh. Well. How many did I miss? Just a one gem somewhere? I'm looking for it now. I, I know it's faster to just wait until later. But I'm just going to give the level a quick scan right now. I don't know why I didn't pick up your gem. I definitely flamed that guy earlier. I guess the flame charge just didn't work. So, basically, whatever you do to set it up, there's going to be some kind of thing where you need to enter some sort of code. Uh... Oh, come on. <laughs> Um, oh goodness. This is, this is kind of sad. These are not hard jumps. Um, sorry, I just got an alert, an emergency alert from my phone telling me that the hazardous chemical situation on main and fifth has been resolved. And I'm a little bothered that my phone never gave me a notification that there was a hazardous material situation there to begin with. Why am I only getting a notification that it's been resolved? <laughs> I'm just gonna do it this way because I've been failing the other way a whole bunch recently. Anyway, what... And I couldn't even get that way. Oh goodness, this isn't gonna go better than my Sprash Vecta did, did it? This is gonna be even worse. Was I near there today? I'm not near there now. No, I wasn't. Oh my god. Guys, I don't like how this run is starting. Anyway... Sparksless, though, there's going to be some kind of code you need to enter, and it's basically always going to be the same. Uh, there might be a slightly different format depending on whatever Game Shark thing you're using, but it'll be basically the same no matter what. So once you have some kind of thing, whether it's Free McBoot, or a game shark, or whatever. Yeah, it shouldn't be hard to, uh... to just put in whatever the code is from there. The thing I use specifically is a PS1 specific device. So if you're not running on PS1, I don't know. I say if you're not running on PS1, as if anybody else runs on PS1 normally. Oh, good bagel. I hope the bash tassing has gone well. Nope, talk. should get that before getting the egg. I keep forgetting that. This is the thing you fixed by undoing 10 hours of work, yeah. That's not high enough. 
Oh, no! I can't believe I did that. And the thief is completely in the wrong position for the quick snipe. Oh well. I guess that wasn't too slow, all things considered. Okay, there is a red gem over here that I keep forgetting. I've forgotten it like three runs, so I'm gonna start with that. Really? Um, I think that's everything? I'm pretty sure that's everything. I... I left the room wrong. <laughs> it was mostly just a showcase of how it worked. I was looking at High Caves routes, but uh, nothing I found ended up being conclusively useful. I did find that you can do a neat wall glide in high caves across the uh, big chasm with the moving platforms. But you can't land anywhere helpful from it. There's just like a spot on the wall at the other end that you can land on. Thought there was a, a vase there for some reason. Hmm. Well, I do like having you around, Eliza, but I am curious to know how that book is. Gotta be careful doing that. Really? Uh, I, I'm leaving. I'm mad that I'm losing gems. What? What could it have been? Maybe there was one that I missed in the bell towers. Oh well. It's just always a little disappointing when you practice a game and it just doesn't feel like the practice is paying off, you know? And I mean, it is definitely paying off in some ways. I... Mm. But then stuff like that happens, and it's just like, really? <laughs> oh, there's a gem right there, come on. There we go. Oh, Vortex. Yeah, it is okay to suck. I just feel like I've sucked at this game for a long time. And I'm not seeing a path to improving at it much. Oh, 
moved. Get. You just walked into that wall. What were you doing? I know I just attacked the Rhinoc right after it came back out, but I was genuinely worried if that Rhinoc was okay. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't expect to be... I don't expect to be Spyro 1 good at this game, I just expect to be not awful at this game. And there are some things... Again, there are some things I've gotten better at. It's just there's a lot of other things that have added up that I'm just still really, really bad at. Can't even sub 130 in S1? Yeah. I don't know, I, I would just like sub 4 in this game, which isn't even a good time. <laughs> but it's substantially better than the 420 that I have. I missed a gem there. I am missing everything, and this also isn't the route. I, I don't know why I'm going this way. fall down there yet. Thanks. Yeah, I'm I'm still learning them. I think that should be the last one. Nope, drop on the left first and then go to the right. This also is not remotely the right route. I I really need more practice everywhere, I guess. I have a better idea of routes than I used to, but it's still just not great.
surprised that flame charge didn't work over here. that pause. Nope, come on, pick it up. Oh, come on! <laughs> I forgot those birds flew so low. Two gems in here. I don't know why the camera is being so bad right now. And that gem that's sitting there should be the last one in this room. Yeah, there is a gem there, I thought so. I just messed up when going up for it. I guess we're just taking the slow way through this. And you know what? Let's get that too.
I, I need to just leave and come back for it, I guess. Really? I didn't see that I missed that earlier. Also need to watch how Nitroff did this water section again because maybe he just like circled around there or something at the end. Because I do not see how to get Sparks to grab those gems in a remotely fast way. There's some way you can get a bunch of height jumping off that wall. I just need to actually practice the level at some point, I guess. Oh, these are really bad. Okay, it worked. The trick to doing to flaming all the butterflies like that is to start your flames really early and turn up and down early, but I, uh, <laughs> when I got there I was very close to all of them, so that wasn't really working. Nope, that's too low. I'm also probably trying to do some things here that are a bit riskier than they're actually worth. Some of these jumps are a little bit above my skill level. And there's other ones that I don't even understand how to do. Some jumps I've seen Nitroff do in his PB that I, I've tried and I just, I can't get it. Like at this next island, you can jump from here to here without needing to fly, and I, I don't understand how to do that. I never come close when I try. What? No, get back here. Oh, crud. <laughs> you know what? Fine. It works. It works. Because the other one's right here. If I didn't go chasing that one off to the right, I, uh... I would have turned left and gotten that one earlier. I've been surprised by how easy it was to learn that challenge. 
I expected that one to be much harder than it turned out to be. I never know how to approach these guys. I hate that. And then even there, I can't even just point myself at them. I don't know why I have so much trouble with the swimming movement. There's no reason for that. There's another gem in there. That's not an upwards proxy. There's another gem right there. Lurk. Come on. Hey. What? <laughs> that hits you so high!
What's up, John? Okay, everything else should be down at the bottom there. Is this the sub-250 grind? God, I hope not. That's gonna take me, like, months to do. Like, three months. I don't want to spend three months on a single game. No, I think I'll... I'll be content with world record. Somebody else can go for 250. I don't know why I fired right there. I am missing everything! <laughs> I'M MISSING EVERYTHING! This is terrible. Like, Bluto's a hard fight, whatever, but this is really bad. <laughs> By any standards. Oh my god. Please. There, whatever. It's Spyro 3. I have to spend three months on it. That's a good point. You make a very good argument there. That's not how to do that. Please. Thank you. I missed one right there. I think there was a gem that was really close to me and I just didn't get it. Oh well. Um, yeah, no, that's right. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, very surprised I didn't miss a gem there, too. Nope, don't fall off. Please don't die in Buzz again. <laughs> I've been dying here a lot lately, and I don't know why. This is a really easy fight. It's not like I'm messing up the Buzz stuff either, I just keep... Well, that time I messed up the Buzz stuff. Normally it's because I just keep walking off the edge like a dummy. Like, I try to inch closer to it, and then mess up, and just fall off. Which is silly, because you don't even need to be all that close. Like, that worked fine. This should work fine, I think. Yeah. I just get in my own head, I guess, and overcorrect. Yo, Zack. Yo, Boo. Raid message. Yo, John on Phil. Really happy to see you here, John. God, I hope this is all the gems here. 
Why? <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Like hey, man. Um. How was how was one twenty, Zach? How did your run go? Get out of here. Insane PB. One thirty nine fifty nine. That's my guess. No, what was it actually? Did you beat me yet? Was it actually a one second PB? <laughs> 139 16, nice. For some reason I thought your PB was still that 140 flat you got. Oh, that's really cool though. GG. I think I'm supposed to get that later, but oh well. Even, oh, that's right, I'm supposed to get the key and then go around the left up there. Okay. Amazing, amazing. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going here. Probably this way. I don't know, that felt kind of right. There's not a gem in there, I don't need that. I never seem to get this blue gem before, uh, before the egg cutscene. This run has been starting off real bad. I missed a gem in Sunny, which I found fairly quickly. And I missed a gem in Cloud, and I missed a gem in Molten. And I did not bother looking for the ones in Cloud and Molten. I assume the one in Cloud is in the Bell Tower section, because that's where I keep losing gems in my recent runs, but I got all the ones that I normally miss, so I don't know. And in Molten, who knows? It, it could honestly be anywhere. Still, though, Sub-50 Sunrise is... Not good, but better than what I normally get. There's nothing over there. Yeah, no, that was a bad attempt. Man, I got this first try on the Sprash Vecta. <laughs>
There it is. Okay. Oh god. I can't see. There I am. Okay. I can't believe I got that snipe. I'm shocked that that worked. <laughs> okay, time for another level where I'm gonna miss a gem. Oh, good, Zach. Thanks again for the raid. Let's go, boo. It's fine. Now I think the one of the last times I missed a gem is because I popped these balloons but died and did not get them again. I just got to be sure that if I die, I remember to actually go back and get those. Ideally, I won't die, but that is not a guarantee. Also another one was there was a green gem around there somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> There's no reason to pick those up now because this balloon falls down there anyway. Yeah, you know what? I bet the one I missed was the one in the Sprash Factor. I missed a gem in this level. I bet it was the one from that that flying Rhinoc that fell down. I bet I never... I didn't uh, go close enough to the ground to see it there when I passed back leaving. So that's good to know. I just have to remember that. ones up there? Yeah, it looks like I did. I 
And then, yeah, it would have been this green gem. Good to know. I haven't died, so I don't need to respawn any balloons. Just need to make sure I get everything. I can also pick up this one on the way back. In general, in future runs. of the gems. Oh, let's go. We didn't miss any gems in bird. We're learning. That's improvement right there. Good one, Sparks. B what? I didn't know you could climb those that way. Get all sideways on it like that. I also missed gems in this section in the Sprash Vecta. So I just need to be more careful about these two. They were gems that were over here? Yeah, those were the two that I missed.
Oh my goodness, that... That may be the closest I've ever caught one of those and had it actually work. That was kind of absurd, actually. remember this one's path, but as long as I just kind of follow him, I should be able to get it okay. Pretty sure it's this one first? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I think I'm basically remembering it. That's whatever. Not a big deal. Then it's this one. Good, good, good. I'm sorry, I, I, I just want to make sure that I got the 10 from that face back here. Yeah, I did. Okay. So I should be good to go into the two rooms, and all the rest of the gems here should be in there. I'm pretty sure I got everything else. How did gems work in Crash 1? How do you mean? Like, how do you get gems? Or something else? I got on the side of the ladder again! <laughs> Uh, beat a level without dying and collecting all the boxes. And then some levels will have a uh, gem path, where some of the gems you get are colored. Uh, for basically no reason. It's just kind of random which ones are colored and which ones aren't. Where's the mosquito? There it is. Um... But yeah, the colored gems will unlock paths in certain levels that are required to get the gems in those levels. Sure. Are there gems in every level? Yes. Well, except for bosses. And the Great Hall, but everything else, yeah. Thank god, okay. Phew. Much better than the Sprash Vector.
No. <laughs> Why do you ask, Boo? Are you doing uh, a Crash 1 playthrough? That game is stupid hard. I don't understand that. <laughs> Watching or I'm trying to understand it. Gotcha. Hope. Hope. Come on. Oh, there we go. I guess I could get those three when I pass back through later. I don't need to be getting them yet. I did the thing. Good job, Zando. I think this is the first time I've ever done that, actually. I've heard about that as a possibility a bunch of times, but I don't think I've ever actually done that before. Yay for Zando. First time mistakes, let's go. It's too bad I'm not actually a good any percent runner. Able to do bug proxy or something. Yeah, sure. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. There we go. I guess it didn't take me all that long to catch up. forget how high or how low the collision ends on that wall. I don't need to go nearly as high as I generally try to. I don't like the enemies here. I don't like how they can hit you from so far away. I've actually been having kind of a tough time practicing this level in Sparksless because of them.
Where's the zone for this? It's over on this side, okay. I should probably get that before the last four gems. There's nothing there. Yep. And then, yeah, I should get these gems as I'm coming back down for that. That makes a lot more sense. Really? See what I mean about the range on those guys? I just, I don't get it. It's wild. enemy has the biggest range in this series. They've got to be up there. I mean, I guess there's things like, um, the plants in Misty Bog have a large, like, aggro range, but in terms of just attack range, I feel like, uh, those guys do. And I guess I'm also thinking not a ranged attack, like the Cupids or whatever. Or these rocket guys. Please. Thank goodness. <laughs> we tried. Okay, now in the Sprash Vector run, uh, I failed this challenge twice, really close to the end. So massive time save here compared to that. What? Hey. got that one. Nice. I know that they spawn, like, above where they land. Or, like, they exist above their spawn, I guess is how to phrase that. But I don't really have much of a sense of where that is, so I, I don't really know where to aim. Like, I don't know how high above their spawn they are. Etc. Please. Okay, that's not how to do that, but that's fine. It's a minor time loss. It's only going to take me a few seconds out of my way. I 
is I need to get it now, but then also turn around a different and get this plane a little further along. So yeah, that's just a few seconds, that's fine. Yeah, resilience. I... <laughs> I didn't mean to do that again. It doesn't matter. I'll do the hunter challenge now. Grats on your Crash 2 PB, I think it was last night. I was in a voice call with someone, but I had the stream up and muted and was lurking. Um, oh goodness. Good. Good start. Yeah, that is cool. It's fun when you get a run with a hard strat you've been practicing. Oop, ah. Oops. <laughs> Did not mean to flop on the ground like that, but it's fine. I'm not too concerned with the races. Just like the flights in Spyro 1, they are minor time losses compared to everything else in the run.
I feel like only one of those gems spawned. I didn't want that. <laughs> went right through it. <laughs> what? Loud sound warning, by the way, with these rockets. Um, no, I do skateboarding now. Oh, come on. Kind of wanted that. <laughs> Mods. Mods, there's a bot in chat and it's terrifying me. If only there were some mods around to handle it. No, nobody. <laughs> that red too. Thank you, Sparks. Honestly, a little surprised Sparks picked that up for me.
I think that was all of them. I think I got all the gems. That's much faster than I usually get them. Oh, there's one. Aha, I was wrong. Hunter's skateboard is so cool. It's got a big S on it for skateboard. So cool. Ooh, goodness. Nope, that's too far back. Come on now. There we go. Gonna say it shouldn't be hard to jump up here. those. That felt right. Okay. Get that in a minute then. Oh no. We... I have so much trouble with these. This one and the, uh, the last button skip. Just really bad at them. Really? <sighs> Damn it. I don't want Farley getting in the way of this. <sighs> Flem didn't even come out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, I just... I don't really have a sense of what makes this work, I guess. I try to do these inputs, and sometimes it works, and I don't really know why. Not a charge jump. Well, I do it as a charge jump. <laughs> That that does feel a lot easier. Now that now that I've done it that way once, that, that suddenly makes a lot of sense to me. No, oh, come on. Come on, give me that. Okay. That should have been all of them here. I, I think I got them all.
Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop it. Bird, your rockets are the worst. It's like they try to home, but completely away from the enemy. Uh, okay, it's not this tower, it's the other one. I did keep forgetting this balloon. I forget that one fairly often. Good. Is there another one right here? I guess not. I'm sorry, what was that? I... I thought I had counted all of the gems of the ones that I hit already. Oh well, I'll... I guess... I guess I miscounted. I can't believe I haven't missed a single gem in midday so far. After how bad Sunrise went. It's, uh, it's surprising to me. get the green gem at the start here. Do I just get it first? I guess so. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh, flame. No, move. Please, Spyro. <laughs> oh my god, Spyro, no. Oh, yeah. Saw that gem peeking through the wall. What? Okay, well. I tried to flame that. So I'm not entirely sure how to do that circle effectively. Given that that guy doesn't really run in a nice path for, um... 
Doesn't really run in a nice path to also hit the baskets. I'm not aiming at either of them. <laughs> ZL leveled up. I'm sure that is ZL's proudest accomplishment of the day. Becoming Zando Toaster level 30. Right. Right. Excuse me. I didn't need that, I was about to get a skill point. Oh well.
I totally forgot to get that bird earlier. I normally remember that one. Oh well. At least it's a quick fix. Really? <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> right. Right. I know better than that. Oh, this is my own fault. Yeah. Bird, please stop dropping them right next to Spike. There we go. Haha, -ha, didn't even die once. And yeah, I'm not missing any gems here either. level also gives you, like, a few pretty easy uh, power-up refills, and I need to remember that. That I don't need to be too concerned with it. Because, yeah, I think there's even at least one more somewhere. Like, right there. <laughs> what? Hey. But Hey!
Yeah. No, this is everything. This level can go a lot better than it did in my PB. I got stuck trying to jump on a mushroom for like a minute at least. I died doing the mystery jar and had to do it again. Just a bunch of stuff went bad. The good news is, I remember where the gem was that I messed up last time. So I won't need to go back and try to get it again. bad news is, I still kind of suck at jumping on this mushroom. I don't know what happened. When I started this... Nope. Come on. There we go. When I started this in the Sprash Fecta, I was doing them just fine. And then I missed that gem and had to go back up and just couldn't do it again. been doing great so far. Okay, so the one that I missed was that red. There we go. <laughs> nice. Nope. Nope. Maybe. Sure. Good. <laughs> I 
no. Uh, actually, hold on. I'll just die and respawn right there. This is a very silly mistake to make. So I learned from Nitrof's PB that I can pretty easily just run along the side there. Don't need to dodge between the rocks like I used to do. Nope. Okay. That guy's gonna just run off somewhere else then. I can get those later. And I think I want to leave that until after I do Bird's Mission. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, because otherwise I'd have to go back up there an extra time. I'm not going to bother doing some of the fancy fireball stuff that I know can be done. I have a suspicion that if I tried to do much of that, I would just mess it up somehow. got basically all of that. Yeah. Oh, right, that. Forgot to light the rocket earlier. Didn't grab this. And then hopefully this is everything else. Excellent.
Now I know there's something you can do triggering these from the bottom. Do you just need to hit like the very bottom middle of them or something? Oh my god, no, bears, please. It's fine that I missed those ones. The, uh, after the bees, it kind of wraps around back to those, uh, those last ones anyway. Oops. I, I don't know why I just sat through that. <laughs> I've known to menu out of that every other time. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I didn't fall in the honey, so I'll call that a win. Yeah. Go to Hunter through the race again, I believe. Yeah, and he's like right here. Look out.
crud. <laughs> crud. This is a lot more hits than I wanted to take. <laughs> That's fine, though. We got it. whole section that I need to practice. I, I don't really know the gem collection here. I just kind of go in a circle, low down and then high up and hope I got everything. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that should be it all. Oh, and Lost Fleet, I never watched the route again. Yeah, maybe I'll just be able to wing it. I did watch what Nitroff did in his PB here. There was just a lot going on, and I had trouble following it. Okay, fine, I'll get that later. That's not how to do that at all. Hold on. Now, it must have been, like, from right about here, just like a, a jump flop up. Something like this. Yeah. Uh, exactly that, actually. Okay, okay. You know what? No, I'm gonna take that. Okay. And then it was to go in here and go under. Hey. To go under and get these. And then go get the egg and do subs and come out. God, I love this song. How does anybody not like this song? I don't get it. I know almost nobody does like this song, but I don't get it. <laughs> gonna turn around. Nope. 
Hey, there we go. What? What? <laughs> Imagine designing a sub that can just, like, turn on a dime like that. <laughs> like, I'm no expert in submarine engineering, but that just feels really wrong. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that sub. Dang it. And the last one I'm gonna guess is hiding in here right now? Yeah. There we go. one. Yeah, good. Should race crash three any percent? That would be fun. I've done a couple of runs of it, but it's been a long time since I have. But also, I've just gotten a lot better at the game, I think, just because of, uh... Okay. Just because of the 105 I've run. That's where you went. You were somewhere. Yeah, for sure. Finding proper motivation to run a game can just be hard in general. Even if it's a game that you have played a bunch and do really enjoy. Just getting yourself to actually sit down and do the thing can be hard. Crash 3 after the grind, fair enough. Oh, that's not how to hit anything. There we go. 
rats. Really? And that's way too far, isn't it? Nope, that was dead on. Okay. Sure. I have no idea where that bird is even going. You're pretty sure they're birds. It's hard to say for sure. Oh, and then this one, right. Okay. Almost, almost. Please. Crab. Shoutouts to Tuper Eyes. Good. That's all of them. <laughs> That's... Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Just didn't really get much of a jump there at all. I was really surprised... I've said this a bunch of times since this happened, but I was really surprised with how well... 105 went in my Sprash Vecta. Because that game can be really hard and really punishing. And... nice. Very good. Very good rocket snipe of that, uh... That extra life. Anyway, that game can be really hard and really punishing. And it was one of my better games. I was only, like, eight minutes off a of PB in a nearly three hour long category. I was... I think I was closer to my PB in 105 than I was in Spyro 1 120. <laughs> oh, I can get those on the Hunter race. Also that one. Also... No, I'm getting that now. Good. Like, I, I even nearly did the uh, Hot Cocoa Gem Relic one cycle. The only thing that stopped me was I got eaten by a shark right at the end. <laughs> if that didn't happen, I would have had it. Oh no. Ugh. I also got the Ski Craze one cycle. It was just, it was wild. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, of all the things that could have gone wrong. There we go. Cool. Auger. Sheesh. I find it funny that Hunter says sheesh when you beat him in the second race, and also says sheesh when you lose in the first race. 
I like that. I like that about it. Also, this route makes perfect sense now. I, I like it. I get it. I'm gonna use that route in the future. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Yo, Naomi. I already opened the Craig Egg. I don't remember. I know there is a Craig Egg in this game. I don't remember where it is. I don't think I have, because I would have probably said, Hey, it's Craig, or something, when I did. Like I did with John. Like I usually do with Shemp. I like how many eggs in this game share names with people I talk to. There's a John egg, there's a Craig egg. There's a Jenny egg. My dad's name is Dave. There's a Dave egg. I think there's a Stuart egg somewhere, which is close enough to stew. There might be an Elizabeth? No, I, I don't think there is. Which is dumb, honestly. That's something they should have fixed in version 1.1. On the Greatest Hits version, they should have added an Elizabeth egg. Honestly. Their priorities were all messed up. I just wanted to hit this guy. There we go. I hate the ninjas in this game. I got that. Okay. I just don't like how they back up when I try to flame charge them, and also sometimes they hit me when I try to flame charge them. I don't like that. I forgot that I need another rocket for that. What a popular name, yes. Nope. No! Why did it go that far out? <sighs> God. Doing this Sparksless is gonna bite. That's a good bagel. I mean, to tell you the truth, yeah, it kinda is. That's not gonna hit. With the way I backed off like that and didn't look at it, there's no way that's gonna hit. And then, of course, I just can't. I was supposed to carry this rocket with me while I went over here. Oh, no! I wasn't. I was supposed to hit both of them, then grab another rocket and carry it over here so I could hit the strong chest. That's what I was supposed to do. It took me a minute, but I'm glad that I remembered eventually. Wubba wubba. This room is honestly really funny, Sparksless, just because I almost certainly need to immediately die twice to get gems that fell into lava. Oh, God damn it. Do 
Really? Also, this whole level is going to be really funny, Sparksless, because I'm going to die a thousand times. Yeah. thousand times is kind of pog. It is. It's true. Yes, that got everything. Good. You're not exactly wrong. Oop. And you know, I, I should really learn how to do Agent Spyro. <laughs> I'm really slow with this Agent 9 section. But also, zigzagging is fun. Die a thousand times in that sub area, you'll give me ten dollars. Wow. There we go. Please. Please. Really? Wait a minute. There it is. That's what I was after. I had to aim way higher than I was. Do I need skill points for 117? No. The upgraded gun just makes this easier. Oh my god. Give me health. <laughs> god damn it! No, that's not okay. Why were you in that corner? What were you doing? <sighs> the zigzag is a lot of fun once you start getting the hang of it. Sounds good, Bagel. Honestly, if I had some weird, crazy glitch that set up- that took a bunch of time to set up, but could just straight up skip the Sparks levels, I would absolutely take it and make it mandatory. <laughs> Sadly, as far as I can tell, that is required to beat the game. That guy just fell into a wall. I don't think there's anything in here, is there? No, there's not. There is stuff in here, though. What are you... Oh, that was a guy I hit. Okay. That should be everything. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't think you can get Spyro in there. Not to my knowledge. In the Sprash Factor, I was having a hard time with uh, with Twin Dragons just going in their holes like every opportunity they could. Ah. Uh. Nope, come on. One. Um. There it is. It was the purple dragon especially was just not cooperating. No! Oh! Nice, that was actually way better. Heck yeah. Yo, Pepsi. Happy toast, happy toast. Nice. What are you making? What's it gonna be, Pep? I said that so threateningly. Like you have some kind of a decision to make. What's it gonna be? better. Uh, I am also going to chicken out and just enter Bentley by buying in. I, I don't feel like trying to do an out of bounds right now. Chicken with baked fries and spinach salad. Nice, nice. are pretty good about following golf rules. I wanted to jump in there, but oh well.
I made something the other night that I was really happy with that I haven't made since I moved out. It's nothing too fancy, but I made asparagus, which I really like and just haven't gotten around to trying to, to prepare yet. Another gong! I just steamed it. When talking to Eliza and Golf, they both said that they saute it. So I might try that next time, I do still have some extra. I only made half of what I got. But I was also feeling lazy, and steaming vegetables is easy. And I like steamed asparagus pretty well. I, I don't have a problem with it, like some people apparently do. That's fair. It's it's not for everyone, I know. I have also heard that uh, it's absolutely possible to just hate it when it's prepared some ways, such as steaming, but really like it when it's prepared other ways. But it's also just got, like, a really distinct flavor, I think, and if you don't like it, then I, I don't know how much trying it different ways is going to help with that. You just fan of steamed veggie tails, yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost, almost. That's not how to do that. I really need to learn mammoth proxy. Also, this is the best song in any game. Cannot get enough enough of the uh, Frozen Altars song. Excuse me? Hold on. Hold on.
Come on. There we go. I believe there aren't any gems up there, so I can just head down, go to boxing. Very good for me. That's like average if you're a good runner, I think. But that's really good for me. Come on, Bentley punch just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Okay. A lot of these punches are not going through. I shouldn't say a lot, like two of them haven't gone through. Please. Please. <laughs> oh my god. This dang yeti is copying my excellent boxing style of punch him in the face. Just don't let him get a hit in. Except he's doing it better than me. Rico. Why what? Guys, it's the best part of the game. Okay, you know what? I don't know if there's an Elizabeth egg, but there is a le an egg that Eliza would like. And it's the cat hockey one. And you'll see why after I get it. Come on. A little better. Nope, nope. Turn. Where are you going? That was mine! Why would you go all the way to my goal to go for that? Oh my god. Oh my god, get out. Get out of my way, you piece of garbage. Stop it. Oh my god. Just go. God damn it, cat hockey usually goes a lot better than this for me. 
No! Fart. This is really, really bad. N no! They bounced off of each other to stop it. There we go. Okay, this egg. Very good egg. Did not know that was down there. <coughs> Come on. Come on. There it is. Ooh, we're out of there. What? No. Stop it! Oh my god! Up, X. There we go. Food good. That's good. I'm glad. Food should be good. That's the way food should be. <sighs> Stay here. Spyro does not want to deal with rocket RNG right now. Oh, come on. Fireballs. Really? No fireballs for me. Yeah. You know what, for not getting fireballs, that wasn't too bad. I got the red rockets, I got the hits on, it was fine. Do I think I do? I'm gonna go for it. Mm 
Maybe I don't. Okay, never mind, I won't go for it. I'm going for it. In the words of our hero Spike, this bites. I really should try to learn the fast way to do this level, though. The thing is, in, in this level, it's the only one that works like this. Um, if... The only way you can go through the rooms is if you destroy every enemy in each room. It's the only Sparks level that works that way. Um... But if you go out of bounds and do the boss first, the rooms just open up. Which obviously saves a lot of time from not needing to fight a bunch of things in every room. Uh, but also, if you do the boss first like that, and then while you're backtracking through the level, you die? Um... Problems. Problems happen. And also the out-of-bounds is just a little tough to learn on its own. Or I don't know, maybe it's not that tough. I, I think I might just be bad at the out-of-bounds in this game. In the Sparks levels. Like, I might get basically as much out of just learning how to do the levels normally. <laughs> Should be the last one there. I don't have nearly enough ammo to kill the boss quickly, but this also just isn't a very hard boss, so should be fine. Yeah, that's okay. It's going good. I feel a lot better about this run than I did the one in my Sprash Vecta. I forget if... I know you were around through parts of the Sprash Vecta. I forget if you were around during Spyro 3 specifically. But I PB'd by a couple of minutes. But I knew I could do a lot better than that. So I wanted to do another run. While well, the game was still fresh in my mind. I forget the exact time I got in the Sprash Vecta, it was like a 420 something, 420... 21 or something like that.
but like I'm at the point where I I kind of felt like maybe sub 4 should have been on the table. I don't know about sub 4 necessarily, but at least close to 4 hours. So to only PB by like 2 minutes was rough. But yeah, this run's going a lot better though, so I'm happier. I like the sheep tied to balloons. Big fan of that. Is it this one? Or is it gonna be that one? What's it gonna be, Agent 9? It is gonna be this one. Oh. Nice. Three hits with one cannon is not normal for me. Crud. Do something, Agent Nine. Oh, there we go. Sub three sorcerers one. That feels good to me. I don't know what my normal time is. <laughs> Thank you, Peepa Poopod. Oh, that's cool. Pick up that gem. I mean, yeah, it sounds cool the way that, like, tassing sounds cool. I'm sure there will be a very neat uh, finished pro product by the end, even if the process kinda sucks. these things. You know, it was awesome? Nice. I'm glad, Pepsi. I should eat more salads. I mean, I know that was just like a part of what you had, a spinach salad or whatever, but just in general. That's something I think about every once in a while. I should be doing that more. Salads are good and I never have them. No! I 
I love when you get that at the last second, and it looks like you're just running away from the bugs. Okay, so I think I'm going to do Desert Ruins, Agent 9, and then Guidebook Warp to do the gem backtracks I still need to do. Is the Craig egg in Desert Ruins? Is it one of the Sheila eggs here? I feel like it might be. There we go. Iceberg lettuce with a knife go ham. Tread a large carrot and a Granny Smith apple. Ooh. That does sound really good. Yeah, actually, that sounds really good. <laughs> That feels basically right. There's probably more. Yeah, there's definitely more. But I got most of them. Ooh, it was just the one. Heck yeah. Beep. Uh, 
Eliza, I don't know if you remember, but there's an egg in this game where the baby dragon is dressed up as a sheep. And I let that animation play out. Toast indeed. No, why? The book is weird, fun, weird, or bad, weird. Are you enjoying it at least? Hi Spyro. Hi Spyro. Craig. I don't remember where the Craig egg is, I'm sad to say. Maybe I did already get it and I just didn't notice because I'm a bad friend. There's one here. <sighs> Crud. Sheep Egg is the one in Cat Hockey. Craig, though, I think you're right. That might be in uh, Dino Mines. I actually want to get these right now because I'm going to be guidebook warping out of this level later. I see what you mean, Eliza.
it's holding your interest. That's good. Uh, no, Hangman. It's a, um... There's a vampire movie that Eliza and I watched recently. Uh, and it was based on a book. And that's the book. I am interested, Eliza. I would like to see it. is a balloon in here, right? Yes. Forgot to get that. There's more to it than that, but... <sighs> Just gonna aim right at the professor's head, first thing. Wait. Is there one, like, way over there? Yes. Okay, honestly, kudos to that bird. It got me. That was, it legitimately got me. Yeah, I'm way too close to them right here. What's up, Pepsi? Was Jacob the dog? I never read those books. I'm just too simple-minded to understand. Fair, I believe you. Little Wood, yes. I haven't played it, but I saw Piper play it a bunch. It does seem good. Looks real cute. Yeah, butterfly, I could actually use that. Oh, hello. Fine. I don't need to talk to you again. And I, I really don't think I can do back to front right now like this. Not with green sparks. Oh, 
Come on, move faster. <laughs> Ugh. Close. Uh, it's referred to as zigzagging. Cool. Um, it's a bunch of nonsense is what it is. This is Spyro, it's true. Yes, I am holding L1 and a diagonal on the D-pad, usually up left or up right, and mashing R1. Okay, so it's not here. I guess the next closest thing is this one. Gonna take the witch girl on a forest date? Hell yeah. It's not there. It is from Sunseeds. Dang. I thought it might be. I was worried because I've, I've usually been getting better with Sunseeds gems, but is it just like... Wait. What? Where is it? I... How did I miss that? What? How did I miss that? It's right in the middle of the path. Sarah. Yep, I missed a gem right there. How about that? God, I feel so dumb. What's that from? I know it's from something. I can picture the, like, the tone of the lines in my head. <laughs> Iron Giant? It's Iron Giant. I'm surprised I haven't seen that in years. How did I know that? Oh my goodness. Spyro, get out of there. Yes, it is Iron Giant. I need to see that again. That's such a good movie. Oh my goodness. Please, why? There we go. When are we gonna watch the Brave Little Toaster? Anytime you want, Eliza. Kinda want this health right now. Hey, let's see if I could do a swim in air I've never done before. Nope, not quite. No! No! Please. Please. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. No. Get away from me. No. 
Yeah, I suspect the last time I saw Iron Giant would have been long before I knew who Jennifer Aniston even was. I probably haven't seen that movie since I was like 10. Also the guy who plays the detective? Jennifer Aniston plays the detective? <laughs> oh my god, Sparks! <laughs> I don't... I don't understand Sparks sometimes. Hold on, I want to check this one more time. Yeah, okay, I'm glad I did. Christopher McDonald. I don't know who that is. Name does not ring a bell. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen Happy Gilmore. I know, I know. Come on. Come on. No. Oh my god, this is really bad. hit anything. Just, oh my god. Why did they all stop spawning? There we go. Um, crud. Hold on. There. What's up, Pep? mix in the freezer oh my god
Hey, wait a minute. I almost forgot to do this again. I don't know... Maybe I do money bags first. Wait, really? I need to watch the Midnight Mountain route again. Because I need to get this egg at some point. I'm sorry, did I go back here already? Yes. Pepsi, do you have an answer for Eliza's question? Because actually I'm not sure either. Do you mean cookie dough, or is cookie mix a different thing? <laughs> no! Oh my god. I don't like the way... Spyro just kind of moves forward when, um, when you tap a direction in the air. Like if I jump and tap back every time. Oh my god. No, that's the wrong option. That's for tanks and egg. But anyway, yeah, if you, like, jump and tap back, it, uh, just forces you forward a little bit. Nope. Okay. I won't try that again. You can get out of bounds in the riddle room here, but, uh... Oh no! <laughs> it's a lot easier in that first room. Yeah, Bagel, how did you not know that? Oh my god, fine. You're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. You may proceed to the Excuse me? How are you not hitting anything? What is happening? There we go. Okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Missed three out of those last four gems. There we go. It's good to see I can recover it like that, actually. What? Was there a bug here? There was. Good.
goodness. Doodle cookie ice cream sandwiches, ooh. Lego Racers for the N64 the other day. Should play that sometime. Hey now, hit the guy right in front of you, please. Love Croc. Good old Croc. Decidedly not what we said. <laughs> I think I got all the gems up there, I don't know. I sure hope I did. Oh yeah, I should be getting that one sooner than the other one. Bug yeah. Thank you, Naomi, for the 200 bits. Dan! Dan's another one that's in this game. Um, it's a good question, Bagel. 
You know how Twitch had the, uh, like, yearly recap email? For a bunch of people, uh, there was a glitch where it swapped the black and white on some emotes, and on Lucas's recap it switched it on the Happy Toast, and that was the result. So I made it an emote of its own. God. Do I want to rename it that? No, I feel like the joke might get lost on people. There is one here, haha. -ha. Thought so. I knew there was one hiding in an odd corner around here. Now I kinda wanted that actually. Actually, doing the rest of this sparks list isn't too bad. This has not been a great bath, bang. I think you just get a health refill when you start this mission. And even if I don't, I think I'll be okay up to the skill point. Yeah, I'm fine. Starts you at 75, even if you're sparksless. have any upcoming marathon runs we're doing in the, the next year. Uh, I signed up for the 1545 Any% percent Relay. I'll be doing Spyro 1 and Crash 1 for it. Uh, but that's a ways into the year. I think that's like in March or something. Hopefully going to Australia for ASM, that'd be cool. Please get... okay, sure. Yep, 
Yeah, I hope that goes through, Craig. Also, if Hangman was correct earlier, Craig is going to be the other egg in this area. Rude, beep boop boop bot Bad, bad timing. Nope, that's Sergio. I have no idea where Craig is. I know there's a Craig egg somewhere. I know there is. Pretty sure Craig is in the late game somewhere. We are in the late game. If it's not soon, it's not anywhere. Like, there's this egg and the speedway. And that's it. <laughs> I might have missed it, but I've been keeping an eye on egg names. I feel like I would have spotted it if it had appeared. Craig is the Lost Fleet Egg. That's right. It's the end of Level Egg and Lost Fleet. I remember now. And yeah, in that case, I did just totally miss it. <laughs> I don't have a route for this level at all. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm doing. Get over here. Fish. I've had my eye out for one, like, the whole game, Eliza, and I haven't seen one. But, I guess it wasn't the whole game. I didn't, I wasn't looking in the early game. So it's possible that I missed it but I don't know for sure. There might be an L? Like E-L-L-E? -L -L -E? Top quality route right there. It's too bad that I'm not good at super bonus round. <laughs> because if I would, this could sub four. <laughs> or if I was good at it, it could sub four. But I, I think this might just barely miss sub four. 
That said, even if it's not quite sub 4, it does make me happy to know that I wasn't just like crazy for thinking that that was in my reach. <laughs> Because seriously, it was pretty disheartening thinking like, oh yeah, I've been playing a bunch of Spyro 3, I've been learning routes, I feel like I'm getting a lot better at it, and then I do the Sprash Vecta and I PP by like one minute when I'm not good at this game to begin with. So it's nice to see a much, much bigger improvement. And I was probably just having an off day. Honestly, is flying just faster in this level? Might be. Might be. Thank you, Yasha. Honestly, Spyro 3 wouldn't have even been the only thing I felt like I was having an off day on in that Spresh Vecta. I just didn't really feel like I was getting into much of a rhythm with any any of the six games. <laughs> Except Crash 3. Crash 3 went weirdly well, but everything else... Not great. And I mean, that happens sometimes when you're speedrunning. Sometimes you have an off day and you just can't really PB in anything. And sometimes that off day happens to land on a Sprash Vecta. I meant to go to this from the race, but whatever. It's just a few seconds extra. Then you do co-op games, and off day is every day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Speedrunning is tough. It's true. Speedrunning N++ is tougher. So yeah, the really good players can do super bonus round in like five minutes. But it usually takes me like 10 to 15, so... I would have to have a really, really good one to uh, to sub four at this point. There's a Sarah egg. It's spelled the wrong way, but it's Sarah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. What a start to SBR. Can't even get in the level. Brilliant. I was supposed to get that thief. <laughs> it's not a huge deal. Just would have been nice. Yeah, I'm missing all of the, the thief quick snipes. Almost got that one. <laughs> I died again! What? 
What is wrong with me? I'm... I'm too antsy. That's the issue. Really? That thief just went running. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go get the, the power up. <laughs> Thank you, Mus. Oh gosh. No, come on. Thank you. Where is that last UFO? Also, is that a gem? No, that was just some weird spot on the ground. Seventh UFO. See, this kind of thing is why I can't sub five SBR. There it is. I mean, also, like, my movement is bad and I don't know what I'm doing and a bunch of other reasons, but. Please! No! What was that? And now it won't even lock onto it again. God damn it. Oh, I hate this one! I am so mad. I don't normally have a problem with these subs. I don't know what's happening right now. I think the eagerness of sub 4 has gotten to me. What? Excuse me? <laughs> and I just, I can't play the video game anymore. That's the problem. I sound very mad. I am very mad. I don't like that that crab does that. I forgot there was another gem there, also. <laughs> Oh, 
way. God damn it, I'm in third. Come on. Gonna have to do a whole extra lap skip. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. No! What? What was that trick? Okay, I might have just lost the race. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I did! I just lost the race. You're kidding me. <sighs> I hate this race so much. I did three lap skips and lost anyway. I hate this race so much. I said a long time ago that this race was the only thing stopping me from ever doing a 117 run. And honestly, I still feel that way a little bit. Like I'm doing 117 runs now, but anytime I do one, I think to myself, ooh, but I have to do the Yeti race. Do I really want to do this? So did I get all the gems? I can't tell because Sparks is like a mile behind me. <laughs> I did not. Oh well. Oh yeah, there's at least one up there. Yeah, there's more. Okay. Well, at least I'm in first now, so I can afford to, uh, go for them. Sparks, you piece of garbage! It was right there! I hate this race. I hate this race. Yes. a thief? There's a lot more than just the two gem that I need to get. Yo, Chloe, thank you. We're about to really, really big PB. What? Did I... Did I miss a sub? <laughs> Where are you? It's okay, I found it. <laughs> so we didn't sub for, but that's fine. This is honestly sub 4 if I were on FDS, so I don't care. <laughs> this is also sub 4 if I didn't miss gems like a dummy, so I don't care. This is... What's my previous PB? A little over 420. I got it in the Sprashfecta the other day. 
and I was I got it and I was mad because it was only a PB by a couple of minutes and I knew I was a lot better than that. So I'm really happy to have this now. <laughs> Sub three, if I didn't make a couple other mistakes, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> no, honestly, low four, I'm happy with. I'm. This is fine for me. <clears throat> this is fine enough that I can now comfortably go back to just doing sparksless practice and not worrying about this. I think I'm still going to be practicing Sparksless 117 for the rest of the week. But for the first few days of next week, I'll do uh, Sparksless Hundo practice. And then I'll do the 337, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday or something of next week. Thank you for the GG's, everybody.